your Chris 6 weather forecast. And we continue to monitor our Doppler radar this morning as we continue to see some showers and storms across the area just outside of our area. But again, out near Baffin Bay, we have a good chunk of showers and storms. Most of it has already pushed offshore into the Gulf of Mexico, but additional very light shower activity off to the west of us. So we'll be watching that for later on this morning. But this little cluster of showers and storms, it was pretty decent right over Kennedy County and parts of the island, and that's where it's extending right now just to the south of Flower Bluff and into parts of Claiborne County as well. Uh, got some good uh, rumbles of thunder and some lightning associated with this, but it's losing intensity. And again, a good chunk of this has already moved offshore this morning. But again, we'll look for this activity to build. Some of it may skirt the uh, coastline as this progresses throughout the rest of the morning. And again, this additional activity off to the west out here and off into the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, we'll be looking at the later on uh, this morning as well. Now, yesterday we got three hundredths of an inch of rain. So for the month of September, that takes us to 1.36. That's just about half an inch above normal for the month already and for 2022 with several weeks of some rainfall now we're at 19.57 we've really turned things around as far as drought is concerned and now only holding on to a deficit of about six tenths of an inch of rain and I still think we'll see a little bit more as we head on into the next day or so. 24 hour rainfall. We did have some rainfall over the watershed yesterday. And again, we've still had some decent rains over the last uh, couple of days, and a lot of that's still going to be trickling on into the uh, watershed. So overall, not doing too bad. The hour by hour forecast takes us into the uh, 70s. We're at 79 right now, uh, holding on to the upper 70s about 6 to 8 o'clock and holding on for that opportunity for a couple of scattered showers and storms through about 3 o'clock. Overall, we'll look at mainly cloudy skies today that's going to really uh, have the uh, temperatures have a hard time making their way into the uh, upper 80s out there with light east southeasterly winds below 10 miles an hour. So everyone should be staying into the uh, middle to upper 80s. I'd be surprised if we get a few 90s out there, but nonetheless staying below the seasonal average of about 92 degrees. Now here's what's happening. We have the big upper level high pressure dome over the uh, uh, four corners region. This is creating a lot of heat for those folks. Lots of wildfires occurring uh, due to the dryness. This upper level disturbance that's been responsible for some rainfall here is going to start to slide off towards the east just a little bit. We're going to be on the dry side of things. Usually when we get these upper level lows, we talk about more rainfall in the forecast, but this is off to the east of us. We have dry air off to the, the uh, west of it, I should say, and then we get all the moisture flow that goes over to the uh, uh, the uh, over the uh, southeastern half of the United States. So over the next several days, all this dry air is going to come in. We can see this. The moisture tracker showing uh, the opportunity for showers and storms throughout this afternoon, but then we get more of these blue colors and this drier air that comes into South Texas. So our rainfall opportunity is really going to begin to slip. But again, we'll have the opportunity for scattered showers and storms. Some of them could still be locally heavy today. I wouldn't be surprised if they drop anywhere between half an inch to an inch for some locations across the area. So again, we'll have to watch that pretty closely. The super seven day forecast shows 86 today, 90 on Wednesday. And then the sunshine and the heat returns as we head on into the weekend. In fact, as we take a look at Saturday and Sunday right there, we're going to have those highs into the mid to low 90s with overnight lows into the low 70s. Javier.